So Adobe just introduced some exciting new predictive AI agents, starting with the AI agent orchestrator. Check out this quick clip first to get a glimpse at how it works, and then I'll explain to you a bit more in detail. Where data, models, and ultimately agents support all your marketing, productivity, and creativity endeavors. Now, that technology comes to life in Adobe Experience Platform and all its associated applications. Really unleashing agentic AI to deliver unified customer experiences. Now, last year, we introduced the AI Assistant. It's a technology that allows you to use natural language uh, to seek insights from your customer experience data. Going forward, we are supercharging the AI Assistant with agents. So I'll spend a few minutes describing what are agents. Well, to start with, they are powerful software artifacts that are both intelligent and autonomous. You continue to engage with them through conversations, but they go beyond answering questions. They can actually do things for you. I mean, you have to tell them what you want, what are your goals? What are your constraints? And then they get to work often in the background and they proactively make suggestions, filling in gaps. And it turns out that Adobe Experience uh, platform applications are a natural fit for such agents. So sure enough, we are tightly integrated there into all your favorite applications like the real-time CDP, Adobe Journey Optimizer, Customer Journey Analytics, and Adobe Experience Manager. Now, all these capabilities will be surfaced through the AI Assistant. So, thereby you have a uniform interface across the board. Behind the scenes, the AI Agent Orchestrator will manage all these agents for you. So, maybe let's take a look at a few of the agents that are on there. The first is the audience agent. So as the name suggests, this is your ally when it comes to audiences and it is tightly interwoven into real-time CDP. And via the familiar AI assistant interface, you will now be able to create and manage audiences. So let's take an example of an online cabin website. And say an audience specialist goal is to increase car rentals through cross-up. The specialist can ask the AI agent to find customers with flights, crews, or hotel bookings in the next six months, and then filter the ones that have a high propensity to add car rental. So if you see that the directives are pretty simple, uh, that the practitioners are providing to the AI yeah, assistant. But what happens behind the scenes is a lot more complex. Now, the agent begins by analyzing your stated goals and constraints. It reasons about your intentions. And then it generates an orchestration plan, picking up relevant uh, attributes and events from unified profiles, it may even build some descriptive and predictive models on the fly to estimate audience sizes. And eventually, the agent explains the plan to the practitioner, seeks adjustments, and then based on your feedback, it can update the plan and then go into action. So in effect, you as a practitioner are specifying what you want. And the agent focuses on the how. And of course, all of this is managed by the agent orchestrator behind the scenes. So next up is the journey agent. Now, this is embedded within Adobe Journey Optimizer. So just like the audience agent, this also accepts your directives in natural language to create and manage journeys. So it can handle, you know, basic things like Hey, what are my top performing journeys? Or stop on ups and journeys. But it does go further than that. 
So if you take travel and hospitality, you know, it's an industry with loyalty tiers like gold, silver, platinum. And when customers risked losing status, brands had to bring them back into the fold. So how do you incentivize them to kind of stay on track? That's the goal. And the constraint is that, you know, loyalty programs, they run on an annual cycle. So when this problem, why these goals and constraints, is proposed or stated to the agent, it will design a journey to entice certain customers that could, you know, that are off track with relevant offers. It will look up the past travel behavior. It will look up their loyalty status. It'll combine that with industry knowledge as well as with brand requirements. And then it will recommend when and how to nudge customers, deciding on the right offers, the timing, as well as the challenge. Now, these recommendations with explanations will be presented to the practitioner. And they can refine them iteratively. So I think you'll see a pattern here that you are always in the driver's seat and you have an autopilot that you can switch off. So now that you've built your audiences and crafted what you think are the perfect journeys, that's awesome. But we know that experimentation in marketing is an always on exercise. As uh, customers change or you know, markets evolve, you want the ability to play with new ideas. And to that end, we are building the experimentation agent. Now, the experimentation agent, it lets you quickly cycle through ideas, deploying the ones that prove effective. So, again, let's take an example. Saying you only increase the new subscriber engagement. You present this to the agent. In turn, it gathers insights from your customer experience data as well as prior experiments, and it'll generate multiple ideas or hypotheses. It even predicts results for each hypothesis. So let's say one suggestion that the, yeah, the agent makes is to incentivize subscribers with small rewards for completing certain tasks. You like the expected lift, you choose to run that experiment, and at the end of which, it's going to summarize the results in a way that are pretty easy to comprehend. So at that point, based on real-world validation, you can either productize that experiment or you can continue to iterate further. So with that, let's look at how Marriott is using agents to enhance their one-way guest experiences. So as you just saw, this orchestrator manages several AI-powered agents, simplifying tasks across marketing, productivity, and creativity. And for instance, if you wanted to target customers who have upcoming trips and might want additional car services like car rentals, the AI is able to take your goal, identify the ideal audience, create predictive models, which is absolutely insane, and then present an actionable plan. All you'll need to do is approve it and the AI handles the rest. Next up, Adobe actually showcased how Marriott uses these predictive AI agents to encourage business travelers to extend their stays. And here's a glimpse of what that looks like. Now, Marriott's business travelers are really as loyal as any in the hospitality industry. And empowered by new Adobe capabilities, they're planning smarter ways to inspire Bonvoy business travelers to extend their tricks. I mean, how many of you all are sticking around in Vegas after Summit? All right, a couple of you. Well, let me show you a glimpse of the experience that Merit can deliver. I just finished booking a work trip to Las Vegas. After booking, I receive a notification to extend my stay. Now, I'm just thinking business right now, so I'll swipe it away. But later, when I'm in my confirmation email, I notice that there's an opportunity for a points bonus if I extend my trip. Hmm. When I tap through, I see discounts on local Vegas activities. And what? Is that a discounted helicopter tour? I'm going to extend my trip with this activity. And now I'm all set for my Vegas work trip. Now, that Marriott upsell experience was delivered to guests at scale, leveraging several new Adobe capabilities. 
why don't we check in to see how we put it together? I'll start by finding the right audience to target for my goal of extended business trips. I'll do this using Audience Aven, a new goal-oriented way for practitioners to create and refine audiences in Adobe Experience Platform. I'll start by asking Audience Agent through AI Assistant, help me expand my extended state plan with additional audiences. It looks like Audience Agent came up with three audiences based on my goal. And looking a bit more closely, luxury travelers will play really well for this campaign. So I'll add that to my plan. Once I'm on the canvas, I can actually simulate engagement across the different channels using machine learning on the fly. And it looks like I have a pretty good opportunity for email promotion. I'll definitely be capitalizing on that later. Last, I'll optimize my audience just by focusing on profiles that have a high propensity to convert. And with that, I just got a pretty sweet upgrade and I didn't even have to pass by the front desk for it. Now that my audience is optimized, let's sculpt the journey that these business travelers are on. Rather than starting from a blank slate, I'll just prompt AI Assistant to create the journey to incentivize business travelers to extend their trip to include leisure time. Now, AI Assistant is using past jury performance data as a reference to help me come up with some basics for my use case. It even identified the two audiences that I just optimized. I'll indicate further that I need a FOMO inducing push notification, a personalized confirmation email, and discounts on local activities. Fantastic, that saved me a lot of time. With just a few short prompts to AI Assistant, I was able to publish a draft of my journey all the way to the canvas. Easier than room service. <laughs> okay, but we're not done yet. We now need to continuously optimize the journey that these business travelers are on using experimentation. And to do this, I'll use Experimentation Agent. Now, the metric that I'm trying to move is booking extensions. It looks like Experimentation Agent has already come up with a pretty promising hypothesis for me, that promoting discounted excursions instead of a points bonus will drive more booking extensions. Using this information, I can add an additional treatment to my journey and then based on simulated performance, I'll either roll this experience out to everyone or I'll go back and find another hypothesis to test. But for now, I'm ready to pack my bags and go. Back to you, Angel. And as you saw, Marriott cleverly uses these AI agents to predict these travelers' interests, offering attractive incentives at exactly the right time. Imagine you were booking a trip to wherever, and you might initially ignore suggestions to extend your stay, but if you have personalized emails offering bonuses or discounted activities that you personally would enjoy, you're probably going to actually go to those events. Now, finally, Adobe also introduced the Brand Concierge, which is another innovative predictive AI agent, and let's quickly see it in action. Now, just as marketing practitioners have the AI assistant, your brand's customers will also soon have a similar technology at their fingertips. And we are calling this the Adobe Brand Concierge. Now, we are all familiar with the power of commodity LLMs. At Adobe, we are taking this technology a step further. Brand concierge is really the fusion of generative AI with customer profiles and your brand's asset portfolio. So much like the AI assistant, this is also conversational. It's multimodal. It has insights into your customers' buying patterns and references. And it also knows about your brand's offerings. It knows about you know, the inventories of products and other assets. So all of this really allows for personalized engagement in decision making. No more generic answers from commodity LLMs. So when my daughter goes online shopping for talks, the brand concierge can recommend 
the colors and styles that match the pants she bought in store a few weeks back. So see what I just did there. Now if my daughter hears this, she'll want all her favorite pants to have the brand concierge now. Over to Rachel to see in action. Thanks so much, Angela. So many Marriott's premium properties can offer a personalized concierge experience in the lobbies of their hotels. But that type of experience isn't really scalable across all hotels in their portfolio. Or is it? It done digitally. Jump ahead with me to the last day of the conference. I've now shifted from business to leisure mode. And actually, these sunglasses help a lot with the bright lights. At the end of the conference, I receive a push notification about a celebrity chef dining experience. And can I just say, I love that Marriott knows that I'm a foodie. It's in my consumer profile. When I tap through, I enter a multimodal conversational experience that's powered by Adobe brand concierge. And will you look at these brand assets? There is nothing generic about this experience. It looks like the dinner is tonight at Marion's partner Cosmopolitan Hotel. Let's get a little bit more information about it. Can you tell me more about the chef? Okay, this looks fun. I have to meet this guy. Let's Book an APN reservation for four tonight. Anyone want to come with me? <laughs> Great. Well, Marriott was able to confirm my reservation instantly by linking me to a booking agent that's linked to Adobe Commerce. Well, back at Marriott, with brand concierge deployed to over 9,000 properties, they need a really simple way to analyze across all of the guest interactions. They'll of course do this using Adobe Customer Journey Analytics, new data insights agent. I'll simply ask AI Assistant, analyze brand concierge requests. This is looking across all 9,000 properties. I can even filter down just by business travelers. Seems like everyone's really interested in these chef experiences. Last, you may have noticed this real-time refresh button at the top. And yes, it does exactly what you were hoping it does. When I select this, all data and visualizations update to show in real time. There's no better way to get a pulse on what's happening right now across your entire consumer experience. All right, well, it's time for me to turn in my key card and check out. Back to you, Angel. Fantastic, I create. Now, the Adobe Brand Concierge is basically like your personal shopping assistant, blending AI insights, your purchase history, and detailed brand information. It understands all of your style and preferences, providing personalized recommendations, tailored to past interactions, even from weeks ago. And Marriott leverages this AI agent uniquely personalized guest experiences, such as suggesting the special guest with that celebrity chef. I think this is truly, truly interesting because I think Adobe are doing stuff that a lot of these other companies are simply lacking on. They're basically building predictive AI agents, streamlining them into companies and ensuring a lot better customer delivery on many different things that are part of the customer experience. And I think this is gonna become a really big part of the future. You're probably not gonna have a lot of that spam marketing anymore. Using generative AI, companies like Adobe are actually making ads and personalized all really, really effective. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the one later coming about more Adobe's AI agents because it's super, super intriguing.